everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking in today's thumbnail today I have the continuation of five fragrances that can cover all bases for the springtime I already did my designer edition so I'm gonna link that in the info box below but today we're going to be covering the niche edition so if you are interested in seeing what are going to be my choices for today stay tuned if this is your first time here welcome my name is Moraima in this channel I share some of my passions such as fragrance self-care and decor and I want to welcome you if this is the first time you see my face so I invite you to check out a few videos and if you like what you see then definitely consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you can be in the know the next time we have a video or every time that we have a video for my returning subscribers big hug mwah, mwah, mwah. I'm always so happy to see you guys so today we have the niche edition if you haven't seen the designer edition then definitely check that out I'm gonna put it in the card I'm gonna put it below I'm gonna put it everywhere and at the end of the video you just gotta check it out so the idea behind this is that instead of recommending you know whatever are my favorites for the spring I have a lot of favorites and as the collection grows then more the, the more favorites I have so it's almost impossible without doing a super long video on including all of those fragrances however the idea is to pick from my favorites some fragrances five of them to be precise that are going to cover pretty much all bases so if I had those five perfumes that would get me through the whole spring and almost summer season and I would feel like I have something that can apply to any occasion so the very first one that I want to start with is my everyday going to work type of fragrance that is easy to wear and I feel that would work for almost anything and this one is Casa Morati Dama Bianca by the house of Zerjov. I have the 30 ml here I think I'm gonna have to get because look at this dent I'm gonna have to get the larger bottle this is a beautiful romantic fragrance this fragrance is non-offensive I think anyone I don't think anyone could not like this fragrance this is so so gorgeous it's so beautiful it's powdery it has violet musky vanilla it just it's a very inviting but very discreet type of fragrance which is why i feel that it would be great for anyone that either cannot wear fragrances where they work or they have to wear very minimal type of fragrances i feel that this fragrance would do amazing this fragrance to me this fragrance is the epitome of romantic and to me spring is one of the most romantic seasons i feel like the blooming of the flowers it just it makes it so romantic to me and i feel that this represents a lot of what this fragrance is and where you can wear it again you can wear it anywhere i would wear this if i have like a day shopping or all of that but where i think this fragrance would shine is if you want like a everyday signature scent or something that you can wear to work that is feminine that is not going to be offensive to anyone but is going to have really good performance is going to last pretty much all day or all the hours that you're going to be working or you want something that is like you have you know you're chilling in the couch with your significant other and you want something you know that is not going to scare them away because it's too loud it's something that is very inviting very romantic very beautiful very feminine dama bianca by casa morati serge off i think is definitely oh it's so so good guys i absolutely love it let's take a look real quick at the notes i spoke about this fragrance at long long time ago so i don't know if you've seen it the mini accords we're talking powdery vanilla citrus floral violet musky woody iris fresh and white flowers then for the actual notes on the top we have kumquat and lime i love kumquats and fragrance then on the middle notes it's where all the florals shine we're starting with italian iris violet egyptian jasmine lilac and lily of the valley all very beautiful non-offensive florals then on the base notes it gets super creamy vanilla malt ambrette white musk sandalwood and cedar making this fragrance like i said like very very creamy and romantic it's floral but it's not like you know it's not necessarily a rose fragrance so for people that want something a little bit floral very feminine but not necessarily a rose fragrance dama bianca is definitely a good good choice i absolutely love it so once again this was dama bianca for choice number one this fragrance is going to be your fragrance that 
I would see for like going shopping, meeting up with the girls, going for brunch, it's getting warmer, you want something that is sweet, that is feminine, but at the same time it's not necessarily like a bomb. It's something that is just fun and flirty and I feel that it just works really, really well for that. And the one I'm referring to is Reckless by Raja Parfum. This guys, I absolutely love these bottles, especially the way they look on camera. I absolutely love this fragrance. This is your orange blossom, neroli type fragrance this is very much a la love don't be shy it's actually definitely a lot of people compare it to love don't be shy it's very bright and floral but not heavy florals it's a, it's a happy floral type of fragrance i feel like it's a very happy floral and the name i think suits it so well reckless you know it's you know you live life it's Joie de vivre is very much, you know, going out and about and being very careless and just having a good time. But definitely during the day, this is not an evening fragrance. This is not a fragrance that I would wear to go with the girls and out and all of that. But at night, dressed up, no. This is the have fun with the girls during the day. I would say, uh, or with anyone, you don't have to go out with your friends. It could be with family or with your significant other or your kids or anything, but. I feel that this is a fun fragrance that just covers those bases. I love the composition of this fragrance and although it is very reminiscent of Love Don't Be Shy, if you like that one then you're definitely going to enjoy this one a lot. I feel that this one is better bang for your buck just because obviously 100ml versus 50ml that you get with Love Don't Be Shy and I don't know, I just, you know. It's better bang for your buck in terms of, of uh, the actual how much fragrance you get in this one versus Love Don't Be Shy. But if you have that one, then it would definitely apply. Let's take a look at the notes. We got on the main accords, citrus, white floral, vanilla, powdery, warm spicy, amber, musky, rose, floral, and sweet. And then for the actual notes, we are starting with mandarin orange, orange, and bergamot. So that's what makes it super zesty and just like happy and like daytime type fragrance and then on the middle notes we got neroli jasmine may rose and geranium and then on the base notes vanilla musk benzoin cinnamon i don't smell the cinnamon at all i i don't get that one like every time i see cinnamon i'm like where you don't smell any cinnamon so they'll be scared sandalwood citrax or citrax not sure how to pronounce that pink pepper and coriander again it doesn't smell spicy whatsoever this is sweet floral non-offensive very happy type fragrance and to me this is what i would wear for those particular occasions and i want to have something that is not too serious that still makes me feel pretty and posh and sophisticated and like i have something nice on but it's right for the occasion once again this was reckless by raja Parfum. fragrance is a fragrance that is probably on everybody's video for the springtime and i was considering for that particular reason not to put it but oh, i can't imagine a spring for my niche fragrances without this fragrance i just can't so here it is delina by parfum de marley she's that girl she's still that girl still hanging strong for position number one this fragrance incredible it says spring date night i am just here and you gotta pay attention to me it's absolutely incredible i love this fragrance the performance is awesome the projection is great you won't really smell like anyone because i feel like this fragrance mores a little bit because i had a friend who was wearing it and it was a lot more rosy on her and then on me is a lot more rhubarb ish it's a lot sweeter fruitier than on her which i absolutely love to me it works but this is the best i'm not a rose 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 fan but delina both delina and delina exclusive are the best roses i've ever smelled period and i'm sure you you know this already oh this fragrance is just different it's just so so different and there's nothing that comes close to it i feel like this is ideal for date night for getting together with friends going for a birthday party going for a you know either gender reveal or baby shower any like those events that are not necessarily extremely posh and luxe but you still, you know, got dressed, you're cute, you got, you know, your outfit going on. And this fragrance in the springtime to me is incredible. It works really well in the summertime as well, even though with the heat, I feel like it works really well to me. Last summer, it worked 
fantastic. Obviously, I didn't wear it during the day and I was standing in the sun. Uh, and I wonder like how it would perform at that point. If any of you have used it in the sun for an activity outdoor during the day, let me know how it worked out. I am definitely curious. But so far, any indoor activity, even if it's hot, it's just, I absolutely love it. And it gets a lot of good compliments. I think that the men love it. So it definitely, you know, makes that mark there. And at the same time is just that fragrance that makes you feel super confident and makes you feel pretty. Delina just makes you feel pretty. It is just, oh, so, so good. And again, like I said, and, and I know that you have seen this fragrance, you know, over and over again, but it hasn't lost its status. And that's when you know that a fragrance is not only good, but it's timeless. And that means a lot, not only for obviously the brand, but for you, because these are pricey. So you invest in a fragrance that you're going to feel good in it this year. And what about next year if you didn't use the whole bottle? You know, is it going to work out or is it going to continue to work out? Let's take a look at the notes real quick. On the main accords, we got rose, floral, fruity, fresh, musky, green, aromatic, tropical, powdery, and woody. And then for the actual notes, it opens up with lychee, rhubarb, bergamot, and nutmeg. And on the middle notes, Turkish rose, peony, musk, petalia, and vanilla. And then on the base notes, cashmeran, cedar, Haitian vetiver, and incense. So the vetiver makes it so fresh and the incense makes it so grounded. I just, I absolutely love love this fragrance again like i said when you see a fragrance that year after year it keeps on being in the top positions is because you know that it's a fragrance that is still regardless of anything else that is coming in the market it's still working and it still has those top positions once again delina by parfum de marley the next fragrance is a little controversial because a lot of people don't like a particular note in this fragrance and this note is aldehydes I know that it has a little bit of a bad rap, but let me just tell you, in this particular fragrance, it is incredible. And the one I'm speaking about is Achento Overdose by the House of Zerjoff. Guys, I was waiting for the warmer days to wear this again. This fragrance is, first off, this bottle. I mean, can we just take a moment? Of course, it's not focusing. I mean, it's just gorgeous and it's so heavy. <laughs> I mean, you don't throw this at someone because it's injury guaranteed. This fragrance is so different. I think, where would I wear this fragrance? So this is a fragrance that I would want to wear anywhere that I want to feel special because this fragrance has really good performance and it's beast and it projects. It's just like one of those fragrances that yes, it's fruity and it's you know, watery and the aldehydes are very fresh, very soapy, but at the same time, it has really good projection. So wherever you have a special location, I wouldn't recommend it definitely if you work at a hospital to wear this. But if you are having any activity, either day or night, I think this is a very versatile fragrance. It's a floral fragrance with really good performance and a very clean feeling. It's a very airy type of fragrance. And let me just tell you, the cap is really hard to get off. Oh. So let's take a look at what this fragrance is composed of. On the main accords, white floral, green, fruity, fresh, woody, aldehydic, sweet, rose, aromatic, and camphor. So when I saw the accords of green and camphor and aromatic, I thought this was going to be so masculine. I thought it was not going to be feminine. I wasn't going to feel it. It was just going to be weird. And then when you look at the notes, it opens up with fruity notes, green accord, aldehydes, middle notes, lily of the valley, Egyptian jasmine, Bulgarian rose, and then on the base notes, eucalyptus and pine. So between green accords and eucalyptus and pine, if you're a subscriber, you know that I've said before that usually the notes that I don't necessarily like are the ones that usually are projecting in my skin and the ones that I do want to shine they don't shine too too much. This fragrance, you're not going to smell like menthol or Vicks. That's not the idea. I brought this for this video. I thought that this <laughs> was going to smell like this. Like that was not what I was looking for, obviously, after I hear camphor and menthol and all of that. But that's not it at all. This fragrance is gorgeous. It's so fresh. Like it's such a clean aldehyde. It doesn't smell ancient. It doesn't smell dated. It smells just like a fresh sparkling floral. 
And it's so funny because when you look at the bottle, you know, that's not the feeling you get. I mean, this opaque gold, super heavy, you know, it feels like it would be like a super dressy, deep, dark fragrance, but not at all. This fragrance, it's aldehydes done really well, really, really well. I wouldn't wear this fragrance if you have to be very conservative with the amount of scent that you're projecting. I would wear this fragrance when you want to project, when definitely, you know, Zerjov is a house well known for its performance and I feel that this one did not disappoint. I think it's a great fragrance for the springtime and even the summertime because the freshness of the aldehydes and the freshness, it just feels like a very upscale, elevated, floral, light fragrance, but incredible performance and I absolutely love it. Once again, a Chento Overdose, by the house of search and the last fragrance on my list is another floral but this floral has a touch of tropical i feel that it's a beautiful sophisticated floral when you want to have that little touch of tropics but not necessarily a hundred percent like super duper i'm already in full-blown tropic mood but it's very upscale very elevated and the one i'm talking about is 51 essence de parfum by roja parfum this one is, oh, guys, chef kiss. It's such a great marriage between white florals and tropical floral. Like I can't even understand. It's so well done. It's super creamy. It's super smooth. And I know that the Essence de Parfum by Roja are a little bit lighter than, you know, the actual 51 from Roja. But with that also comes the price. It's a lot more affordable. And when you want to have a 100 ml bottle that you're going to be wearing either as a signature scent or something that you're going to wear pretty much everywhere and you want to be able to be a little bit less careless in how much you apply, then definitely the Essence de Parfum could work. I feel that they have really good longevity. They're not the most projecting type fragrances, but the longevity is really good. I feel that five, six hours, it stays on your skin. It starts getting a little bit like a skin scent on the fourth hour or so, but depending where you are and depending on the weather. I have not tried these fragrances in the heat or when, you know, you get out of the house, it's a little chilly and then it turns a little bit warmer during the day i haven't experienced that but i will keep you posted nevertheless i feel that this is an incredible floral that has a touch of tropical that you can wear anywhere so this is another um i can wear anywhere type of fragrance this would be great for the office this would be great to a business meeting this would be great for um you know, shopping or meeting with the girls or anywhere where you want to feel super feminine and just super put together and you have something nice on. I feel that this it's just so delicate. It's so smooth. It's not a floral that you feel that is not well blended. These are super well blended. I absolutely love these bottles. Let's take a look at the actual notes. I know you've seen them, but on the main accords, we got white floral, woody, sweet, vanilla, yellow floral, powdery, warm, spicy, amber, balsamic, and fruity. And then for the actual notes, it opens up with bergamot, making it super fresh. And then after that, on the middle notes, ylang ylang, gardenia, orange blossom, raspberry, tuberose, lily of the valley, lily, may rose, and jasmine. That is a whole bunch of white florals with a touch of ylang ylang, making it a little tropical, and the raspberry, making it a little sweet. And then on the base notes, we got vanilla, making it even sweeter, cashmere wood, and sandalwood, making it super creamy. And then benzoin, orris, violet, cinnamon, you don't smell the cinnamon, anise, clove, and patchouli. And the patchouli helps with that longevity. I think out of the all of the essence, the parfum that I have smelled from Roja 51 is my favorite. I absolutely love it. I feel it would also be great for a cozy night or a cozy type of date, whatever you have where, you know, it's okay for someone to be closer to you or a little bit more intimate and they're not choking because you have like beast mode. <laughs> fragrance on. I absolutely love it. It's super classy. It's super posh. I feel that now is the right time for this fragrance to shine. In the winter time, I wouldn't wear this, but spring and summer, absolutely. So this would be another overall wear anywhere type of fragrance. 
even in areas where you're not do or supposed to wear fragrances or heavy perfumes. You just go light with it and it's definitely a close scent bubble just for yourself. Once again, 51 Essence de Parfum by Roja Parfum. And these were my choices for five picks for the spring season that can be worn anywhere. I hope you enjoyed this list. Let me know in the comments below if you have any niche fragrances that you feel are great for the springtime and that you have been waiting to wear. I know that there are so many, there's just so much that we can speak about, but I'm trying to make these videos interesting and just have a little topic so that we can see how we can use these fragrances in multiple ways. They are pricey, they are expensive, and we definitely want to get the most out of it. I definitely want to hear what you have to say. Do you have any of these? Do you use them for the occasions that we share today? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out and hit the notification bell so that you can be in the know the next time we have a video. Until the very next time, big kiss, all the positive vibes. Bye-bye.